Today's lesson is on negation and De Morgan's laws. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is just to complete the following truth tables for if P then Q, and then P and not Q. So let's go ahead and do these. Um, if P then Q. Remember for conditional statements, if the antecedent is true but the consequence is false, that's the only time the whole thing is false. So right here, because the antecedent is true on the second line and the consequent is false, that makes the whole thing false. Every other option, true, true, makes the conditional true. False, if false, then true, that's true. If false, then false, that's true. Because if the antecedent is false, it doesn't really matter what the consequent is. The whole thing should still be true. Next, we want to work on P and not Q. So I'm going to have to do not Q first. So I'm looking at the Q column and I want to do the negation of the Q column. So that's going to be um, not true. So that's false, not false, that's true. Not true, that's false, not false, that's true. Remember that negation just changes its sign. Now the rule of thumb for and the conjunction is it's true only when both are true. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the column of P, so we'll highlight P column, and not Q, so we'll highlight the not Q. Those are the two columns I am trying to work with. And now I'm going to be doing P and not Q, so conjunction. So true only when both are true. Well, that's not true. True, true, yep, that's true. False, false, no, nope, that's false. False, true, no, they both have to be true, so that's false. Okay, and now we've completed the truth table. Now I want to analyze the truth table. Take a look at our if P then Q column in red, and then our P and not Q column. Notice each of the truth values are exactly opposite. True, false, false, true, true, false, true, false. Every single truth value are opposites. So therefore P and not Q is a negation of if P then Q. The way we write this, be very careful about this, okay? We say the negation of or it is not true that if P then Q is equivalent to P and not Q. So this is their equivalent. But because it says not, that means um, that if you just take if P then Q and P and not Q, they're actually negations. So you put a negate in the front and then therefore they are equivalent. So we're going to negate some of the following conditional statements. So if P then Q. So if you build it, then they will come. Okay, so if you build it, then they will come. Uh, the negation of that, we can use the negation that we just learned. The negation would be P and not Q. That's the negation. So P is you build it. And they do not come. Not because it's not Q. So if you're promised if they will if you willed it, then they will come, but then you built it and they did not come, then that would be the negation. That tells you that it's actually not true. That's the counterexample. Alright, let's try this again. If he is wearing headphones, then he is listening to music. So if P then Q. If I'm trying to write the negation, the negation would be P and not Q. So the P is he is wearing headphones. Notice I took the if off. He is wearing headphones and um, the Q part is he is listening to music. So the not Q would be he is not listening to music. Okay, so if he's wearing headphones, then he's listening to music. The negation would be he's wearing headphones and he is not listening to music, therefore uh, it's the opposite, okay? 
one more time, if it floods in Houston, so it floods in Houston as our P, then school will be canceled, so school will be canceled as our Q. The negation, we're looking for P and not Q. So the, the P would be just start at it, we take off the if, it floods in Houston, and the Q is school will be canceled, but this is not, right? So, the, so school is not canceled. So that would be the negation. Next, we're going to be talking about De Morgan's Laws. Now, we studied in set theory uh, these De Morgan's Laws for sets. The complement of the intersection of two sets is the union of the complement of those sets. So in uh, set notation, that's what that means. And then we had uh, another one here as well. And I think we just kind of mentioned it in... Um, in set theory, hey, look, there, there's these De Morgan's laws, but it actually works in logic as well. And we're not talking about sets here, and now we're talking about logic. We have, it is not true that P and Q is going to be equivalent to not P or not Q. Notice that the ands and the ors are kind of similar, similar shaped, but when we have a conjunction, um, that is kind of like an and, and then we have a disjunction that's like the or in the set notation, okay? So we're going to go ahead and try to prove these laws on our next page by completing this truth table. So I have P and Q, so I'm going to have to learn, I'm going to have to find the truth values for that, and then I'm going to have to negate that column and that's going to get me this left side, okay? For the right side, I have to do not P. I also have to do not Q. And then I'm going to have to do the disjunction between not P or not Q. Okay, so first I'm going to do the conjunction in orange P and Q. P and Q. So the rule is for conjunction, it's only true when both are true. So the first one's true, true, that's true. True, false, that's false, because one of them's false. False, false, that's false, because one of them's false. False, false, that's false, they're both false. Now I'm going to do the negation of the column I just did. I'm just going to do the negation here. So the negation would just be opposite, which is true, false, true, true, true. And I have now completed the orange side, um, the left side of De Morgan's Law. Now I'm going to do the right side, the side I've been doing in green. Not P, that just negates the P column. So I'm looking at the P column. And that's going to get me false, false, true, true. Now I have to negate the Q column. And that gets me false, true, false, true. And now I can use those two columns together, the not P and the not Q column, and do the disjunction or the or. Okay, so this is an or statement. Now the rule for or is it's only false when both are false. So in the first one it's false, false. So that tells me that the disjunction is false. False, true. If one of them's true, the whole thing's true. True, false. If one of them's true, the whole thing's true. True, true. Yep, that's true. So I'm going to erase these highlights here. And I want to notice that our left side of De Morgan's Law, which is, it is not true that P and Q, and then the right side of De Morgan's Law, which states not P or not Q, Notice that each of those have the same truth values. That tells me that they are equivalent, and we have just proved the first De Morgan's Law. Similarly, we, the, it is not true that P 
or Q is equivalent to not P and not Q can also be proven, and but I'm going to go ahead and let you do that on your own. It's basically the same thing, but they are both true.